So if you all remember back in the day, in like the early 2010s, we had an expansion pack in The Sims 3 called Sims 3 Seasons. And every season we had a different festival. And one of my all time favorites in The Sims 3 were the fall festivals. And so I thought, why not try and build one in The Sims 4? Because the festivals in The Sims 4 are not cutting it for me right now. And I wanted to make my own that felt fun, exciting, and just something different. Now, personally, I do take my Sims out and about and do extra activities and meet other Sims, like going to the festivals in San Myshuno or Malcolm Arabi, or even going to the pier in Copperdale. But the one thing that I really miss is having extra things to do while I'm there. And the perfect example is definitely the high school years pack because it has a Ferris wheel, it has different rides, it has boba tea, and it even has like different things you can do while you're there. And the pier just looks really nice in general. But I think what I'm really missing is having where each season is a different festival based on where you're at and the reason why I'm doing this is because I love the Sims 3 seasons but also I'm making a save file with my friend Daphne and we're turning Brindlin Bay into a college town but set in the fall time and fall is my favorite season it's cozy it's nice it reminds me of Gilmore Girls I watch that show literally every year around like the you know winter fall season all the way through and it just gets better and better over time Rory Gilmore, crazy, too many choices. The one person I actually love in that show is Kurt because he has a lot of jobs and he doesn't bother anyone. He's just there to help and I love that. Everyone else, crazy. Suki, she's also cool at times. But regardless of my Gilmore Girls obsession, the one thing I do miss, of course, is having extra things to do while you're at the festival. And I really love how high school years did it with the pier, with the Ferris wheel and the different rides and the boba tea and the different stalls that you had there. That stuff was very, very fun. It may have been very limiting at times, but I like how simple it was while, while not being too like redundant if that makes sense and with the sims 3 fall festival specifically it had like apple bobbing pumpkin carving it had a haunted house i think it also had like face painting and like the food stalls to get food and drink space on the season and it would appear and then disappear after the next season was there and gone if that makes sense like we had the summer festival we had the winter festival we even had the spring festival we had flowers we had all these like cool fun related things that i really really miss so i think what i'm going to try and do is recreate the sims 3 festivals in the sims 4 so that way we have a fall spring winter and summer festival and then i can upload them all to the gallery for you all to download for your own designated game and i will say i'm using all the packs to my disposal that way i didn't let my creativity be limited on what packs i was using and plus i like to like let my imagination run wild with these builds half of the time i usually have a story in mind i clutter with a purpose and go about my day but I'm actually very happy I did this on Twitch with you all that way I can like get your suggestions in real time but also put your ideas into our build together because at the end of the day it's not my build it's our build we did this together and if you like watching Twitch streams and you want to like influence my build in real time come to my Twitch streams I'm live every single day Monday through Saturday from 6 p.m to 9 p.m central on Monday Tuesday Thursday Friday and Saturday and then Wednesdays at 10 a.m central to 1 p.m central and that's just twitch.tv forward slash spring sims i'll have the link down below in the description if you want to go check them out i have a very bad time of promoting my twitch channel i just don't promote it because i just don't but if you do appear, I would love to have you there. But regardless of me self-promoting myself out the wazoo, I will say I had a lot of fun doing this on stream and I'm glad I did what I did with you all because normally I don't build like this all the time and usually all my builds are very simple, but I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone more with community lot builds and residential builds by having two houses on one lot or making them residential rentals or haunted house residentials or just anything in general that I don't use all the time. And making a festival based on a season in The Sims 4 is very exciting because I really loved how The Sims 3 did it with all the things you could do with the apple picking and then the pumpkin carving and then the haunted house. Like that stuff is very, very fun. And to be honest, you could make it work if you have the paranormal stuff pack, make a house, a haunted house residential and then kind of build that uh, like your festival around that if you want to do it that way but another way I could have done this is making my own little haunted house by using the stuff from paranormal and spooky stuff and some of the other like strangerville packs too that have spooky things in there 
but I think it'd be really cool if they could upgrade and like enhance some of the other occults in the game. Like ghosts, for example, are very like meh right now. I mean, you're a sim and then you die and then you're a ghost. You have nothing to do. And there's no benefit of being a ghost in the game like we had in the past. And so if they did like a refresh of ghosts by giving them a skill tree, more things to do, and also having a proper graveyard, because we do not have graveyards in The Sims 4 at all. Your Sims are alive and then dead. Their grave is wherever they land, which is never a good thing because sometimes you're like searching for generation like 19's grave in like who knows where and you can't find it. They're just lost forever. And you can't get the graves unless you have like a mod by Little Miss Sam, which I will also link down below. Very helpful if you're on PC and Mac. Console players, I'm so sorry. But I wish there was a way we had a designated graveyard where if Sims were going to pass away soon or something like that, we had a way where we could put their grave there and like, you know, dedicate that space for them only. Whether they're rich or poor, they have their own crematorium or, you know, thing to place them in. Like think of the Salvatore family from the Empire Diaries. They have their literal own crypt of all of their ancestors, even their own grave, which is even crazier to think about, but also the originals with the whole, you know, little graveyard there. I love that place. It's so spooky, so great. And if we had that in The Sims 4, it would make the ghosts more exciting, but also making these little fall festivals, spooky Halloween type of things more scary. I don't know. But if we had upgraded ghosts, I would love it. But let me know in the comments below if you would love to see more like different type of occults in The Sims 4, whether it's fairies or upgraded ghosts or just a whole new occult that we've never seen in the game franchise in the past 24 years. Regardless of my ranting about occults and other things, I will say this fall festival took me about three or four hours to build in a span of a couple of days. And I could not do this alone. My brain can only go so far for creativity. And I rely on you all to give me ideas and suggestions of what I should put here and there and everywhere. And you were there from the start to the very end and I thank you all because my brain noodle is like the Lulu on Sulu on Trulu every single day no matter what I do but I had so much fun with like crafting all this that I wanted to be able to utilize everything to my disposal and so I used some of the stalls from Cottage Living that we have in Hanford on Bagley in that world and if you have that pack on the calendar each week, I believe on a Saturday or a Friday, there's like these different fairs. You have one for like the, the milk, one for the eggs, the produce, and then I think also one for something else that I can't remember. But I think they're so really cool. And my Sims don't win many competitions or the lottery of any kind because the way I the way I play, I like my Sims being broke, sad, and alone. And I think with them trying to strive for more, I get excited and then I ultimately fail. But having a way where my Sims can win at least one ribbon here at the little fairs, that's all I need. And they've won at least one time, first place, and that is it. Lottery, one time 10,000 years ago, and then never again. But I honestly thought that I could actually put an animal shed on this lot and have it being functional, but then but then I was told that you have to have it on a residential lot for it to function and like, okay, that's fine. Because the thing that I love about fairs and fall festivals or just fall festivals in general is that there's more things to do. And so like you have like a little petting zoo of like a cow or a llama or a chicken or a rabbit or whatever it might be. And having those things, they... And having those things, I would have loved to have. But this animal shed is no longer here. I had to put in like a swing set and some other things to fill in that gap. And it ultimately turned out really well. And I think what I might do eventually since I'm in my farming era of playing a lot of Stardew Valley is I might try and make a whole farm in The Sims 4, like a little farm community, because farming is very fun nowadays, at least for me in Stardew, but also in The Sims. I'm learning how to grow my crops better, my layout of my crops, my little farm, all of my little animals. It's all making sense. Cottage living is now a good pack to play with, for me at least, and it's working. But I will say I've been having literally the most fun building in The Sims just because ever since I moved out of my apartment back to my parents' house, it's been like so exciting and refreshing because I'm more creative than ever before. I can bounce ideas off of my mom and my dad and they can give me ideas. I can give them ideas if they ever want to try and build something in The Sims because honestly, I'm always trying to get other people who have not played Sims to play The Sims because one, Sims 4 
base game is free. There's no excuse to not get it. I feel free is the best thing in the world. F-R-E-E, -E, that spells free, creditreport.com, baby. But I will say though, I want my parents to build in The Sims one day, either in a video or on stream, I don't really know, but TBD on that, issue but I will say I've been having a lot of fun lately just building in general and I think letting my creativity run wild with all the packs or just some packs or just no packs in general and just base game has allowed me to think differently and rely on you all a bit more but we can also collaborate together on these builds to make it fun for all of us all around the world and I don't use any custom content in any of my builds whatsoever because one I believe it's not fair to the people who are on the console but also two I don't want to link everything because I'm lazy so instead I just use a bunch of debug and things that your sims can actually use that are interactable but also cool and still fit the game style and are organic to what we're using each and every day. And I used a lot of tool mod to put like the graffiti stuff, murals on the ground, a chess table, some basketball hoops, some, bas some basketballs, and some other things around the world to give it some pizzazz. And I think this allowed me to think differently for the next build because I, like I said, I am in my Stardew Valley era and I wanna make a farm full on through and see what I could possibly do. Cause I think I can do it with y'all's help and allow my creativity run wild again and just have a little bit more fun and just let go but I will say I got stumped towards the end of this build because there were certain things I wanted to add but we couldn't like if we had apple bobbing in the sims 4 that would be so good imagine your sims going to like an apple farm picking some apples or going to like a little festival and dunking their face in a a tin of water to get some apples with their mouth I find that quite one wild and two also kind of fun because this allows your sims to one wake up from that cold water get some apples eat some apples and just have a good old jolly time now in order to make this now in order to make this festival very fun and exciting i wanted to add in like a little kids area and of course kids can go on the ferris wheel and you know play on the swing set and the ball pit and like do some pump and carving stuff activities as well but i wanted to add in where if you don't have seasons it will be a little bit limiting but if you turn off like rain and thunderstorms and snow like all the weather effects in the game which you can in the game options you can have your sims come here and watch some movies and hang out and eat some popcorn, you know, do some photo taking. And this goes back to a build that I did, I think last year, where I did like a drive-in movie theater in Oasis Springs. And that was probably one of my favorite builds I've ever done in a very long time. Cause I've never been to a drive-in movie theater before in my entire life. But I like the idea of going to one, being in your car and not having to sit in like a seat for a couple of hours, but you can sit in the comfort of your own car or somebody else's car basically that you're staying with. I think with that regard, I wanted to have more things for my Sims to do out and about whether it's like a drive-in movie theater or going to like a fall festival or going to the park or going to the gym or going to the library and having more things to do. And honestly, I'm not an extroverted person at all. It may seem like I am, but I'm very quiet, shy, and reserved. I don't really share a lot of things about my life. I may vlog here and there, but I don't share a lot of things. And I could stay indoors for three weeks and be perfectly fine with no issues, unless I need like gas for my car, wash my car, or go to appointments like my dentist or orthodontist. But other than that, I will stay indoors as long as I can until I feel like I'm a little bit cramped and like need to see some sunlight a little bit more and go walking. And I feel like a lot of the times I live vicariously through my Sims a lot, where if my Sims go out, that's good. If they make friends, good. They get money from their job and other things, even better. And I'm like, what if I was more extrovert at like my Sims? What would I be like? Would I be more different? Maybe. I could be more extra and crazier than normal, but I don't want to have that. I don't want y'all to see that. I'm already Delulu on Sulu on Trulu, and we don't need to see Steven more extra than that, okay? But whenever I was building this in stream, and whenever I was building... And when I was building this on stream, I wanted to have like a little movie theater area. Like I mentioned, I did a drive-in movie theater a couple of months ago. I want to have a little space where Sims could sit down on the hay bales, watch some little movies or TV shows on that little projector that we got from the little campers kit. I love that kit, by the way. 
that kid is probably one of the best things I've ever played with kid wise because I love family gameplay and I need more stuff for my kids to do other than stay indoors and play with their little video games or their void critters. So now we have tree houses, we have the movie projector, we have more outdoor things for the kids to do, but there needs to be more hobbies and skills to get them more active, if that makes sense. But I think what we'll do is go into the game and I'll show you the build in real time. So that way you can kind of get an idea of what I was trying to talk about and kind of see the vision come to life. Because let me tell you, speed builds are a lot but real-time builds are a lot better. I honestly have to say Brindlin Bay is one of my favorite worlds and looking at this in the setting in the fall time makes me very happy and cozy and I want to curl up and wear a sweater and drink hot apple cider every single hour on the hour. But I will say I decided to use this lot because originally the pet park is usually here and Brent and Brent Hecking live over here so you can kind of get an idea of the location. And I just love what I did with this lot. And I'm glad that I did this on stream with you all to give me ideas and suggestions on what to do. And everything is functional on this lot. You have the little garden in the back with all the apple trees. All of these, I believe, are all pumpkins. So you can pick up the pumpkins and then carve them over here or just simply carve some pumpkins that came with the spooky stuff pack. We also have some stalls for some cupcakes and then some fall drinks and food. I got a little rabbit's home. I got some leaves, a bunch of picnic tables with picnic baskets, and then some, I think, crocheting supplies. So you can crochet whatever you want to crochet. I got some boba tea over here. Of course, you would have to hire vendors for them to come here and like man the stalls, but you can imagine whatever you want to imagine. And the main big thing of this lot that people were concerned about is the ferris wheel and the ferris wheel does work you can ride the ferris wheel you can also ride with somebody if you have someone nearby that you know and i just love that it does run it's from debug it came from high school years and essentially everything from debug that your sims use will be functional and I love that and I'm glad that we still have more debug items that we're getting every single time we usually get a new pack and the other thing about this lot that I love is this little small area you can watch movies you can watch tv shows you can also do some photos of a normal or a happy one I even put a little grill over here in case you want to grill something for whatever reason and then this right here not functional whatsoever it's there for the aesthetic but imagine like really imagine if we had an option to write a hay bale during like the fall season at a fall festival or just in general i think that would be really cool but then that would be coded for like having cars in the sims 4 and making them work officially and then over here we have a little competition area and i put some eggs i put some milk and then i also put some produce over here for your sims to judge look at do whatever and then over here i thought it'd be a good idea of imagining some type of farmer's market and i have like these selling tables here you can put your produce on here you can sell your stuff tend to the table you know keep up the inventory because recently i just started watching big city green on disney plus and i just finished it and I kind of got that vision in my mind and now I low-key want to make a farmer's market in The Sims 4 because of that show and just like the Green family are just really cool people in general. I love the show that's still going on but you know Little Farmer Spring is coming out alive and well. But on this side we do have a little swing set. We got a dollhouse and then another tent over here and over here is the bathroom to do all your little business. We got four toilets and then we also have three sinks. I could have actually added in another sink right here but I kind of just forgot about it. But essentially you have all your things right here and then on this side we have a little campfire. We also have a little radio and some lights and honestly this lot at nighttime looks really really nice and something about setting it in the dark makes it way way better. It's well lit up over here on this side, semi lit up on this side, I try to do all these string lights that we got from one of those kits or one of those stuff packs and then use the saucer lights and size them down really small so that way it's not like too dark and damp but well lit up in each place especially over here 
and also over here as well. But essentially, this is the entire line. And I will say I'm very proud of what I did, but I'm also proud of you all for what we did together as a collaboration. Because essentially, we're all builders in our own natural way, and we all build differently. But at the end of the day, we did that thing. But regardless, if you do want to download this build for yourself for your own game, it is on the gallery under my gallery ID, which is just Spring Sims or under the hashtag Spring Sims as well. But either who, I do hope you all enjoyed today's video as much as I did. Please let me know down in the comments below which one should I do next, winter, spring, or summer festival in The Sims 4 related to The Sims 3 because I'm having a lot of fun and I really want to try my best to make each and every season have a different festival. But as always, I do hope you all enjoyed it. Please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye!